Now that we know some of the features of the stereo net, I'm going to show you how to get it set up so that we're ready to plot lines. And the first thing you need is a drawing pin. And what you do is in the very middle of the stereo net where these two straight lines cross, just, just poke a little hole, try and be accurate. And then from the back of the stereo net, push the drawing pin through and you'll have a cardboard stereo net so you can put some sticky tape across there to hold that drawing pin fixed. Um, when not in use, you can put a rubber on top and that'll stop you getting a nasty prick from your drawing pin. Okay, so when you've got that in the middle there, that's going to be set up as your pivot point for your graph, or your stereo graph. And that can go on top of the drawing pin like this. And we want to add some geographical coordinates to our stereo graph. So the first thing we do is we draw the primitive circle which is going to be our compass dial around the edge like this. I sometimes spin it to make it a bit easier. Try and be reasonably accurate. Oopsie. There we go. And I also mark off the center of the net with a little cross like that around the drawing pin. And lastly, I have to mark where north is and all the other bearings around the stereo net. Now if you have a look at the stereo net, there are these other little circles, we call them small circles because they don't go through the center of the stereo net, and they mark off 10 degree increments. So I can work my way around the outside of the circle going from 000 to 360 in 10 degree increments. And remember, you should always do this with three digits so you do not get confused with dip or plunge. And I'll just quickly work my way around, hopefully without making any mistakes. And you can see how we can go, uh, 100, and so on, the whole way around the stereo net. And when you've done that, you're ready to start plotting 